Hey guys, this is Alex from Nutrition by Alex and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade almond milk. So almond milk is pretty easy to make. Um, basically it's a great alternative for those who do have a dairy intolerance. Um, it's a great source of omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. It helps lower cholesterol, reduce heart disease, and it's just a great um, alternative to regular milk. So what we're going to do today is use a high-speed blender like a Vitamix and I've prepared three cups of filtered water in here. So you're going to blend three cups of filtered water with one cup of raw almonds and these have actually been soaked overnight and the reason that um, you want to soak your almonds um, is because um, by doing that you elevate the number of vitamins and minerals that your body actually absorbs from them. So we're going to just drop these in here. So three cups water, one cup almonds. And now you're going to... Um, want to sweeten these somehow. So what I like to do is use um, dates. You can use 100% um, maple, maple syrup um, or stevia or even raw honey. Um, and these dates are actually great because they're sulfite free. Uh, so when you're shopping around you want to make sure um, you see that on the packaging because sulfites um, can cause a lot of allergies especially in people who have asthma. Um, so we're going to drop um, like two to three dates in here and these are made by Fruit Bliss. So Fruit Bliss, um, they actually uh, sun dry all of their fruit and they don't use any sulfites and you can get these at fruitbliss.com. And you want to put in just a little bit of cinnamon. You don't have to but it actually does bring out pretty nice flavor. So maybe like a dash of cinnamon and uh, some Himalayan sea salt. So it's a great um, electrolyte. So just a dash uh, and this will uh, bring out the sweetness. And then this is about it. So you're going to cover this and we're going to blend. blend these for about 30 to 45 seconds on a higher speed and now this is the fun part so what we're gonna do and this is a really cool project for kids um, so you're gonna take a mesh bag and you can get these nut mesh bags online or you can go to your local um, like kitchen supply store and get a cheesecloth so what we're gonna do is um, pour the almond milk through here and it's a pretty fine mesh so it will really make the almond milk very creamy and silky. So here we go. You want to kind of start off slow and it's going to keep all the remaining almond meal in here that you can actually dry out and you can use this for baking too um, instead of flour. Okay. So see how this is sort of going through the mesh bag now and you want to sort of squeeze everything out of here. And this will probably yield about a, like a larger jar that you'll see in a second. Alright guys, so here we have our almond milk and it looks super creamy and smooth and we're just going to pour it into one of those larger jars that I had mentioned. So let's do this. Alright, put this away and here we have it. So. And you can make more, but I usually go through this in about a day or two. And we're going to try this. 
see how delicious it is. Wow, it's perfect. I mean, it, this is so cool. Such a great idea. I think you guys will really have fun making this. So thanks again for watching. <laughs>